Hey guys, so we all know that how DeepSeek is becoming popular because of its uh, recent model that is DeepSeek R1. Uh, so because of that, uh, I saw many people uh, like to build AI applications and uh, rack systems around uh, DeepSeek R1 model. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how we can basically build a simple rack system using uh, DeepSeek's uh, R1 model, uh, Langchain, and single store as a web vector database. Okay, so if anybody is new and if you don't know what is DeepSeek R1, it's uh, it's an LLM developed by DeepSeek AI uh, that uses reinforcement learning to enhance reasoning capabilities, and it is one of the state of the art uh, uh, art LLM, uh, which is uh, recently known for its. Um, uh, chain of thought capabilities, reasoning capabilities, and uh, the performance capacity capabilities, and and recently it's um, it's being compared with the uh, with the best known LLM models around the world, and uh, um, and looks like DeepSeek R1 is beating most of the known uh, LLM models, and uh, yeah, so today's um, today's um, video is all about showing you guys how we can build a retrieval augmented generation system using DeepSeek R1 and uh, Langchain. Um, hope, you know, hope you guys know what is Langchain. Langchain is an open source LLM framework to help you build uh, LLM powered applications. And, um, um, and we're gonna use single store as a vector database. We don't know what is single store. Single store is an all-in-one database uh, that helps you with not just the not just as a vector database, but also helps you with your OLAP, OLTP uh, workloads. And uh, it has uh, some cool features like notebook feature where you can use the integrated notebook feature that Single Store has. And Single Store is also free to use. Uh, they have a Single Store has a free share tier. And uh, so, yeah, uh, let's get started. Um, and I'm I'm also going to show you guys how to get the DeepSeek uh, uh, key um, from NVIDIA uh, because um, uh, it looks like the DeepSeek, uh, it, it's very hard to get the DeepSeek API key because a lot of people are trying, uh, trying this out and uh, the, it seems like the server is busy from last many days. So I'm going to show you that and how to get the API key, DeepSeek API key from NVIDIA and then we can um, we can see how this rag uh, system works. So this is the complete notebook code uh, here, what you're gonna see here. Um, so I'm gonna explain this all in a step-by-step -step flow. So rack system with DeepSeek R1, Langchain and single store. Uh, so we will set the DeepSeek API key from NVIDIA, like I said as we will be using NVIDIA NIM microservice. So what is NVIDIA NIM microservice? It's an inference microservice. Uh, it's a set of microservices that help you deploy AI models across clouds, data centers, and workstations. So uh, you can go to NVIDIA NIM uh, microservice and uh, log, sign up and log in and get your uh, DeepSeek API, uh, API key, okay? So we will be using Langchain as our LLM framework to bind everything uh, together. And we will be using single store as our vector database. By the way, let me tell you uh, the data studio that you see here. Um, here is where you can basically create a new notebook. So like I said, single store has an integrated notebook feature where you can create, for example, right, new notebook. Just create a new notebook, give it a name, and you can get started just like your Google Colab. So uh, go to singlestore.com, uh, sign up, uh, and then sign in. And once you sign in, this is where basically you will land, right? Uh, so create a workspace for yourself. Creating a workspace is easy. And then, um, and then attaching to your workspace, create a database. So creating a database is also kind of very easy. So I have my uh, database ready. The name is DeepSeek. I have created my uh, workspace and the database. So let me go to the uh, data studio. I created my new notebook and here I am. So I'm going to share the repo of the whole code so that you can just copy paste and try out yourself how to build simple rack system with DeepSeek R1, Langchain and single store. Okay. 
So first things first, um, what we need to do uh, once you uh, create your workspace and the related da database, select that. So my workspace is Pavapi workspace and then my database I created is DeepSeq because we need a place to store our vector embeddings and uh, that's what we did now. We connected our workspace and the related database. So install the required libraries, Langchain, single store, um, uh, Langchain NVIDIA endpoints, Langchain DeepSeq, all that, and then import the libraries as usual and load your custom document. So I'm just using some document here, a PDF file, which is a publicly available PDF file. I'm going to load it and next is I'm going to split document into chunks. So we need to do that. So I'm going to use um, a recursive character text splitter and the chunk size is 2000 chunk overlap is zero. So I'm going to use that. And then we'll set up open AI embeddings uh, for to create vector embeddings of our chunks. So I'm going to use uh, mention my open AI API key and then these these embeddings should be stored somewhere, right? So we're going to store our embeddings in our single store database that we created inside DeepSeq. So inside DeepSeq, we need to have a table, right, to store these vector embeddings. So we will create a table name that is DeepSeq rag. You can change it however you want. And then we need to get the host URL. So um, how to get this? Uh, I have explained in my a tutorial uh, i'm going to share the link of that also so how you can get this whole thing uh, i'm just going to explain you right now so go to deployments go to uh, your workspace and then connect and then sql id so here's where you can see your host port admin in, admin uh, username is admin and then you can get your ax password from here basically right so that's it. Let's go back. So once you set that, uh, you initialize DeepSeq to NVIDIA name. So you can get the DeepSeq R1 API key from here. Uh, this is a link. You can just click here and then go there to get your DeepSeq R1 API key. And then you mention your, um, uh, your model name and then the API key that you get from this link I have mentioned. And then you set the temperature, all the parameters required, and then we'll create a rack chain. So this is the rack chain we create, and then the query the rack system. So my query is what India's GDP growth is projected to be. The PDF that we loaded has the answer for this question. Okay. And then we'll ask to display the results, um, right? For our rack system. So once we ask the system to display the results, we can see that how it displays the result, right? Uh, it started thinking the chain of thought process, reasoning. First, in chapter three under South Asia's development and outlook, there's a section. Uh, additionally, in table one under development economies, South Asia, blah, blah, blah. So India's GDP growth rate rate is projected to moderate to 5.8% in 2023. So this thing is actually there in that PDF that we loaded and sources also it's going to give. So this is how cool the model, the whole rack system basically works using deep C car one lang chain and single store. Now let's see, uh, let's, um, let's go back and see how the data has been collected or stored in our vector database. Okay. In a vector format. So let's go to, let's go to deployments databases and then our database name was DeepSeq and we created a table name DeepSeq Rack. And then let's see the uh, sample data, right? So all our PDF document, all the content from our PDF has been stored in the format of ID, content, vector, and then the metadata, right? So this is how the data has been stored in the form of vectors in single store. So yeah, let's go back to our uh, tutorial. So I'm going to share the link, the repo link, so that you can go through this and then try out yourself how to build a simple rag system with DeepSeq R1, LangChain, and single store. Hope you liked 
the tutorial and uh, whatever i spoke till now and i also hope you go and try out this tutorial yourself thanks